scout is brave, a scout is true. A scout is a friend to old and new. Pioneer Scout After School Meeting has been called to order. What's first, Olivia? Merit badges. If we do any of the things in this book, we get a badge. Bird watching, basket weaving. Here's one we can get by always saying please and thank you. Thank you for telling me about that badge, Francine. Please tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> hey, here's something we could do. Hike to the top of a mountain. And maybe if we hike to the top of a really big mountain, we'll get a really big badge. I wonder. <sighs> Got it! Actually, Olivia, it says here that any hill will do as long as we plant a flag on top. Then let's hike up Maywood Hill. Okay, now we just need a flag. Leave it to me. Uh, beach towel, um, baton, and clothespins. <gasps> it looks so pretty. And it'll look even better on top of Maywood Hill. What's going on, girls? We're gonna hike to the top of Maywood Hill and earn a merit badge. Really? Can I have one too? Um. This is a merit badge for Pioneer Scouts. Oh, well, that's okay. I'd still like to come on the hike with you. I've been up and down Maywood Hill a hundred times. I know every trail and tree. What's that, Perry? Really? He says he wants to come, too. I have a way with animals. In that case, let's all go. Maywood Hill, here we come. Pioneer Scout can never be too prepared, girls. So, I packed a few things for our hike. A map of the trail, a compass to keep us headed in the right direction, a nature guidebook, huh? And plenty of water in case we get thirsty. I packed a few things, too. They're in my knapsack. A few things? A Pioneer Scout can never be too prepared, Dad. Remember? Some extra clothespins. A fancy headband, jump rope, snowshoes, and even some yummy smelling trail cookies. <coughs> Olivia, you think of everything. I do, don't I? Then is everybody ready? <coughs> Forward march! <coughs> We're taking a hike through fields and forests. We'll follow the trail and never stop. <coughs> Keep it in one foot. Must stop. Must said. Uh. Whoa, look. A tree fell and it's blocking our trail. Let's just hike around it. I'm afraid we can't. It's too big. Oh, well. I guess we'd better call it a day and go home. And not get our merit badge? Come on. We have to think of something. Olivia, it wouldn't be safe to go off the trail and... Wait! an idea. If we can't go around it, we'll go over it. Olivia, this is no time to skip rope. It's not for skipping, it's for climbing. Well, I'll be. Olivia, that's pretty clever. Come on, girls, up and over. All right, here you go. Hold on. We did it, thanks to you. What can I say? A Pioneer Scout is always prepared. We're taking a hike through fields and forests. Feels like this trail will never stop. Come on, Francine! Keep, Keep putting one foot in front of the other. And soon I hope we'll reach the top. What is that? Looks like a bog. Ew. Oh, that's kind of like a squishy mud puddle. Can we walk on it? Uh, well, we need special shoes, sweetie. Otherwise, we'd, uh, we'd sink to the bottom. Okay. Meet you back at the car. Not so fast, Francine. Snowshoes? Uh-huh. If we can't go through it, 
Then we'll have to walk on top of it. I brought enough for everyone. Well, except for you, Perry. But don't worry, we'll carry you across. Olivia, I like the way you think. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Dad? One minute. Come here, Perry. P Perry! <laughs> no. what, what are you doing? Wow. <laughs> I guess he doesn't need to be carried, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking a hike <sighs> through fields and forests. Oh, we'll follow the trail oh. and now So. We're taking a hike up, up the, the hill. hill. Will we get there? Yes, yes we, we will. will. We're taking a hike <sighs> through fields and forests. <sighs> we'll follow the trail till we reach the top. We made it. Look, there it is. The top of Maywood Hill. And we can plant our flag and finally earn our merit badge. Wait, girls. Stop. Don't move. What's wrong? Over there. <gasps> a skunk. Perry, quiet. You'll get sprayed. Yeah, with the stinkiest smelling smell you ever smelled. Let's all just back away slowly. Okay. <laughs> Come on, girls. This isn't working. Somebody do something. Uh, according to this nature guide, skunks are naturally curious and uh, spend most of their time looking for food. Food? That's it! Now, where's my fancy headband? Dad, you take one end. Francine, you take the other. And pull. I hope you're hungry, Mr. Skunk, because I've got a cookie for you. Ugh! Perry, no! Come back! Hey! Uh-oh. Oh, the skunk sprayed him. Hey, you! Harry, you stink. It's awful. Do something. What are we supposed to do with those? Works like a charm. Forward march. And halt. We made it. We hiked to the top of <laughs> and our flag made it, too. Doesn't my new merit badge look great, Dad? It sure does, Olivia. And you earned it. With your help. Hmm, my badge looks great, but I think it needs just one more thing. Perfect. They say goodnight, Olivia. Your big day is through, but how can I sleep? There's still so much to do. It looks like I'm tucked inside, snug in my bed. But tomorrow is chasing today through my head. Will I climb the highest mountain top, or will I paint my masterpiece? Go ride a bronco in the rodeo, or wow the crowd on my trapeze. to welcome us to Dusty Springs. Whoa! Are you a real live gold miner? 
Howdy. The name's Jasper. Follow me, kids, and I'll show you how folks lived back in an old West gold mining town. This is my trusty horse, Henrietta. She likes getting baths, so I wash her once a year. Mmm, <gasps> she smells like old cheese. Uh, this is how we eat our grub. From a pot cooked outdoors. Thank you. Thank you. Ew. Ah. Now this here's the town jail. The worst of the worst bad guys we're putting here. <laughs> well, if y'all want to stand in front of it, I could take your picture. Now where's that little gal headed? I don't think she likes jails. And now for the main attraction. It's called panning for gold. See, you dip it in the water, get a bit of dirt, and you shake it gentle-like till hopefully you find gold nuggets on top of the dirt. <laughs> wow, is that gold? Uh, nope, rocks. You know, a hundred years ago, an old miner named Seamus McGeezer discovered a gold nugget this big. Wow. He buried it here in Dusty Springs. Seamus was gonna give it to the town, but well, he's gone now and no one's ever found it. But it's around here somewhere. Ah! Oh, time to hit the road, field trippers. Back to the bus. No fuss, no muss. Oh, Jasper. Man. Thanks. Wasn't that a great field trip, Olivia? Except the jail part. Olivia, Earth to Olivia. Oh. Sorry, I was just thinking about finding Seamus McGeezer's gold. Oh, please. You actually think you could find the gold when nobody else could? Maybe they didn't have the right tools. I wonder. Miner's hat? Check. Earth tunneling rocket ship? Check. And away I go. The target is in sight. <gasps> Woohoo! I found it! Oh no! I lost it! Lost what? The bus key! It must have fallen out of my purse. It could be anywhere! Uh oh. We'll never get home. Hey! We can search for the key like it's buried treasure. Olivia, what a splendid idea! I nominate. Myself to lead the treasure hunt. Thank you, Daisy. But it was Olivia's idea. I think she should lead the hunt. Thanks. I'm going to need a team of treasure hunters to help me. We, we like treasure. treasure. I'll, help. I'll help. Me too. Okay, treasure hunters. We stopped here to pet Henrietta the horse. Anybody see a lost bus key? No, no over, here. over here. Not Just me. A smelly old horse. <laughs> hmm. Maybe we'll remember something if we talk and act just like we did the first time we were here. Okay, I'll be Mrs. Hoggenmuller. Oh, Daisy, you're my most favorite student ever. Mrs. Hoggenmuller didn't say that. She was thinking it. Maybe we should move to another place we stopped. I don't see anything. Me neither. Anybody? Let's move on. Jasper took us to the town jail. Do we have to go there? Well, we spent time learning to pan for gold. I suppose we could go there next. Look harder. The key must have fallen in there. <gasps> I found a key! Yay! It's a key, all right. But it's the kind that opens doors, not the kind that turns on buses. Maybe it's the key to the town jail. We should look there next. Sorry, but I don't want to go to the jail. I'm not afraid. Show yourself, Busky. I know you're in here. Help! Somebody help! I'm locked in! Olivia, the jail door key. It doesn't work. This key must open something else. 
I know how to fix this. Mrs. Hoggenmuller? Daisy's in jail! Uh, this isn't good at all. The key to the jail's been missing for years. I have an idea. Julian, I'll need Mrs. Hoggenmuller's magnet. Harold, I'll need the rest of your sandwich. Jasper, may I borrow your smelly horse Henrietta and some rope? Uh, sure thing. Magnet is in place. Daisy, stand back. Harold, it's sandwich time. Come on, Henrietta. Mm -hmm. Peanut butter and tuna. Hey, Daisy. I'm fine. Whoa! What's that? <gasps> it looks like a treasure chest. Open it, Olivia. Ugh. It's locked. Too bad we don't have... <gasps> the key! I'll be. Little Missy, I believe you just found Seamus McGeezer's buried treasure. Treasure. What should we do with it? Who cares? We still haven't found the bus key. Oh, we'll never get home. Yes, we will. Now, what other places did we go? Lunch! We already looked all around the picnic table. But we didn't use the right tools. We can use Mrs. Hogg and Muller's magnet to find it. The key is made of metal. I'll do it. Aha! Uh -huh. The bus key! You found it! Oh, we go oh, we we it. I knew the key had to be somewhere we had already been. We just needed something to help us find it. It was like a buried treasure. By the way, I think this belongs to the town. It's what Seamus McGeezer wanted. Oh, well. That's mighty nice of you, Olivia. And to say thanks, I'd like you to have this. Thanks, Jasper. Nice hat. Yup, it just needs one more thing. Aha! Uh -huh. Now I can keep looking for gold. Uh, tomorrow. Now it's time for bed. But I'm not tired. Good night, Olivia, your big day is through. But how can I sleep? There's still so much to do. It looks like I'm tucked inside snug in my bed. But tomorrow is chasing today through my head. Vacation, Olivia? Almost. I never knew planning a vacation was so much work. There's so much work because there's so much fun stuff to do. You're on a big boat sailing across the ocean. Sounds boring. You left Perry's leash at my house. Why is it in two pieces, Daisy? 
I was trying to get rid of the smell, so I asked my mom to put it in the washer. Oh well. A cruise is not boring. There's so much to do on the ship. Like dancing, games, fancy food, entertainment, fancy parties, more fancy food, swimming, and an amazing buffet of even more fancy food. That sounds very fancy. That's not all. The boat stops at interesting places, like tropical islands. Or pirate ah! islands? Sorry. <laughs> Are you really stopping on a pirate island? We don't know. The whole thing is a surprise. We could be doing anything, going anywhere. I wonder. Attention passengers, scuba diving begins now. For, let's go get on the big boat. Bye bye. Fun anchors yeah. away. Bye guys. Cool. Yes, it is cool, Ian. This is going to be the coolest vacation ever. I meant the cool spots all over my arms and my legs too. Want to scratch one? They itch. It's not contagious, but Ian's got dermospotitis. It means itchy spots. It should go away by itself in a day or two. Can we still go on the boat? <sighs> Sorry, Ian. You need to stay home until the spots go away. I think it's best you plan your cruise for another time. Thank you, Doctor. But I've been waiting for this cruise for forever, and I already feel better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, that feels good. <sighs> so, who's up for a jigsaw puzzle? All my dreams over in an instant. <gasps> Everyone, we are still going on a cruise. How? You'll see. Just be ready at 0900 hours. Okay. What's 0900 hours? Boat talk for 9 o'clock in the morning. Be ready. We'll be there. Francine! I need to plan a backyard cruise. A cruise. Okay. You'll need an ocean and a really, really big boat, and several buffets with fancy food and lots of activities, shuffleboard, dance classes, bingo. I can do that. Attention, passengers. Put on your sunblock. The SS Olivia is setting sail soon. SS, SS Olivia? I'll get it. Hello, crew. Thanks for helping out. No problem, Olivia. It's going to be fun. Of course it's going to be fun. I helped plan it. You left this dog toy at my house, too. It was so old, it fell apart in the washing machine. It wasn't old. It was brand new. And it was his favorite. I know just how you can make it up to me. All aboard! The ship is about to leave. A ship? I'm Francine, the captain's assistant. Captain Olivia is waiting for you. Welcome aboard, everyone. Julian, start the engines. It's time to cast off. Whoa! Oh, wonderful. I'll stay here. I get seasick. Sorry, captain's orders. Engines are on, Captain Olivia. Next stop, Olivia Island. Seriously, Olivia Island. Land ho! Wow! Welcome to our tropical island. I didn't know we had our own island. Looks fake. Relax, passengers. Have some juice from the exotic tropical box tree. Enjoy the view and have fun. Two, please. That's more like it. Watch 
out for the waves. Oops. Ha! <laughs> you got Daisy. Cruises are not fun. Okay, passengers, better save your energy for our next activity, Funch. Oh, now that's really impressive. I wouldn't say no to a cupcake. Whoa! You can finish the cupcake. Then you get to be the entertainment. What entertainment? <laughs> hey, can you play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? How are you feeling, Ian? I'm still a little itchy. But look, no more spots. So, Ian, what do you want to do next? Hmm. <gasps> Avast, ski mateys! I have taken control of your ship! Oh, no! A pirate! <laughs> That's right. You better not cross me, or I'll make her walk the plank. I am not walking any plank. Oh, yes, you are, midi! Uh-oh. The, the ship! ship. Whoa! Whoa. We don't have any life rafts. We have a special life raft. Climb aboard, everybody. I've had enough. Daisy, you can't just stand up in the middle of the ocean. Not with sharks around. We are not in the ocean. We're on grass. And there aren't any... Shark! <laughs> 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 now that you're better, we can go on a real cruise. Who needs a real cruise? This was the best cruise ever. Well then, everybody sing. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily life is but a dream. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, sailors, time for bed. Can we go back to Olivia Island? The next island you're going to is the Island of Sweet Dreams. Yeah! Taking us on that great cruise really helped Ian feel better, Olivia. Now, time for sleep. They say good night, Olivia. Your big day is through. But how can I sleep? There's still so much to do. It looks like I'm tucked inside, snug in my bed. But tomorrow is chasing today through my head. Will I climb the highest mountain top? Or will I paint my masterpiece? Go ride a bronco in the rodeo. Or wild and crowd on my trapeze. Princess, doctor, author, astronaut. From jungle star to ocean deep. Good night, Olivia. <laughs>